Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back, I'm Mariam. Today we are testing a lot of new makeup for the month of October. We have newness from Lunar Beauty, from Jaclyn Cosmetics, from Tres Luce. We have some stuff from Fenty, from NARS. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is testing it out, slapping it onto my face to create a look. And of course, giving you like a first impressions type of verdict on all of these products that you should not be buying until I try it. Remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get into this testing new makeup video. Here we come. So the first thing that I am going to test out today is this new primer from NARS. It's their soft matte primer. You already know I am not in love with NARS soft matte foundation. That foundation and me do not get along. I am way too oily for it. It is not reliable or trustworthy or dependent for me, but this primer I have not tried. So hopefully I'll have a better experience with this guy. Oh, goes on white, not my fave. Also, you know how I always mention that my forehead is the best skin on my face? Well, not today. I'm breaking out in between my brows. There's all these tiny little red bumps. I don't know why. Maybe because my birthday is right around the corner. Maybe I'm stressing the F out because of that. Last time I liked my birthday was probably when I was like turning 22, possibly 23. So let's just say it's been a couple years since then. I don't know, I'm no longer in a super celebratory mood, you know? Although this year I am actually going away to Mexico for my birthday. I got invited by a hotel. So I'll be working with them while also enjoying my B-day. It's kind of nice. And it also kind of takes the pressure away from me having to organize a dinner, getting people together that don't really like each other, AKA family members that do not get along and stuff like that. So it's perfect. I don't know who needed to hear this, but I most certainly needed to get that off my chest. And now that it's off my chest, I feel so much better. Anyway, this primer is okay. It's stinky. There's definitely a lot of fragrance in this and I'm not really loving the scent. It smells a little chemical like. I don't know why exactly that is, but it doesn't smell natural and doesn't really smell pleasant. Also, I'm feeling like a slight burning sensation on my face. Not like anything dramatic, but I am definitely feeling like a little bit of tingling right here. Also like right here, like right around my brows. I'm feeling just an unusual sensation with this primer. I can't say I like it, but let's see how it wears. Let's see how it progresses. Okay, for my foundation today, I am going to be using the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. My shade is MG5 currently, which is my natural shade, medium golden five. Now this is not a new foundation that I am testing out today, but I just got a refill, so I thought, why not? Let me slap it onto my face. This is a great foundation. I actually have a review on this. They have a hundred shades. It's incredible. And you know my friend Tisha Thompson, who is the founder of LYS Beauty? Well, Tisha Thompson is also the person who worked on the 100 shades of the Love Your Selfie Foundation. So she's a force. Remember her name. All right, so I'm just gonna use the included wand applicator to just gently dab this across my face. I could use the pump, but I don't know. I'm trying to go a little light-handed. So I'm just adding it to my problem areas. And then I'm gonna spread it across with my It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection brush, which is my favorite brush. And I will be linking it down below. Everyone always asks me. If you don't see it in black, it's because this one was in collaboration with Ulta, but essentially it's the same exact brush. All right, so now I'm just gonna stipple that in, blend it down. God, I love this foundation so much. It is so perfect. So now this is a full coverage foundation that doesn't look like it's full coverage. It looks very, very natural on the skin, yet it covers everything and it also perfects. I don't know, I'm feeling like that primer made my skin flush a little bit. I'm seeing my skin redder than normal around my nose, on my nose, in between my brows, also like above my brows. There's something weird happening. What's in this thing? Hmm, no ingredients on the packaging. But I will say that everything looks pretty nice. So although that primer doesn't feel nice, it's working with this foundation and it's definitely helping to blur out my texture, my bumps right here, and it's just helping to smooth everything. Hmm. Nothing new in the concealer department, so I'm just gonna reach for this Kosas concealer from my Faves X Fails. I'm just gonna add a little bit because I'm not someone who needs a lot of concealer. You know, I don't really suffer from super dark or heavy under eye bags. I'm lucky for that, and I know that I'm lucky, which is why I like to go in with a very light hand for my concealer. I don't understand what these little bumps are about. They're like in the most random places, like 
inside my eyebrow, right by my tear duct, in between my eyebrows, like why, what? It has to be stress. But speaking of stress, I should probably give you guys a trigger warning. So trigger warning, I've been having these really weird like rolling anxiety attacks. Like I am at a point where I'm having at least one anxiety attack a day. It's been really, really strange because while you're having anxiety attacks, you don't really realize that that's what's happening to you. So you think that it's the reality. You think that doomsday is coming. Everything is coming to an end. You know, it's like this crazy paranoia that comes over you. And honestly, I just attribute all that to my birthday being right around the corner. It makes me feel better to think of it that way. Like there's an excuse for your anxiety attacks. But anyway, I'm not shying away from being open and honest about it. You know, it's something that I'm going through and I'm dealing with right now. And you know, if you think that I seem a little off or whatever, just know that, uh, you know, things have been unusual for me lately, but I'm fine and I'll get through it. I'll get the help that I need. All right, rant over. Now on to the happier things in life. I am going to test out this by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I actually already have this product, so it's not really new for me, but it's a product that I don't reach for very often, given the fact that it is very pricey and there's also not a lot of product. So I feel like I'd rather not get used to something good and then have to like recommend it to you guys. But this was actually in Huda Beauty's collab with Ipsy Glam Bag. And so because she included it, I was like, you know what? Let me revisit it. If people are actually gonna be getting it in their Ipsy Glam Bags, and then maybe more people will have access to it. So I'm just gonna use this Hyaluronic Hydra Powder to smooth my pores, to smooth my under eye. This product is extremely smoothing and mattifying. Like, look at the difference. I'm gonna show you a close up. Okay, so this is what my under eye looks like without the powder, right? You can definitely see my texture, you can see pores. Obviously it's not set, but this is what this side looks like with the powder on. Like practically flawless, the only thing you see is my freckles. There's a big difference. So this powder is $60 for um, 0.35 ounces or 10 grams. Definitely in the luxury category, but as you can see, it really works and there's a reason for the price. And now I'm just gonna set this side. It literally makes your texture and your pores disappear. It almost looks like it's filling in the pores, but it's not. It's just adding this really soft veil, which makes it appear a lot smoother. I really should be reaching for this more often. But you know what? There are dupes. You know my Pixi H2O powder? That one is very similar. It's not as smoothing, but it's still extremely, extremely smoothing. And that product is like $24, so I'm just saying. Anyway, I'll link both of them down below in the description so you guys can check them out if you are interested. If you wanna purchase anything, just know that I do get a small commission from the links that are in my description. They are my affiliate links. Okay, I got a little carried away. The powder felt really nice, so I just decided to use it everywhere. Close up time. This side? This side, the forehead, pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. So we don't have any new bronzers to test out. So I'm just gonna use the bronzer from Carly Bible's X Il Maquillage collab palette. I'm just gonna add a little bit of warmth and dimension to my forehead, trying to avoid that bumpy area. Because I don't know, it's weird. Even with everything that I've applied on top, I can still somehow see the bumps. Maybe it's because there's a lot of them and it's like a cluster. So it's harder to make that look invisible considering that the skin around it is close to perfect, you know? All right, we are bronzed up. And now I'm gonna test out these new blushes from Tres Luce. This is Becky G's makeup line. And oh my, that is vibrant. So these are called Ready to Bounce Cream Blushes. Oh, I didn't realize they were cream because up close, they look like powder. Anyway, we've got several really pretty vibrant shades ranging from peachy coral to orangey red to poppy red to beautiful neutral brown. We even have this poppy pink in here. Very lovely colors. I think I'm gonna go for this orangey one. It's called Date Night. Oh, indeed, it is very, very creamy. So I'm wondering how this is gonna apply over all my powder that I just applied. Actually, it applies pretty well. Cream itself does seem very, very bouncy and very flattering. It's not sticking to any patches. It's not creating any patches. Actually quite flexible. Oh, okay. I quite like that. So now there actually are blushes that, brushes. <laughs> There are actually brushes that came with this blush collection, and there's also a highlighter palette in here. But because I already applied my powder, I'm gonna stay away from using brushes. I just wanna use my finger and 
actually feel this product applying on. This is like the safest way to apply a cream product over a powder product. I think it looks quite nice. Ah, oh, I forgot. I have these clips that were sent by Laura Mercier and these are clips that help you basically flatten your hair and keep it down. So I literally meant to do this because whenever I keep my hair behind my ears for makeup, they stay that way. They stay like in this square sort of formation and I don't like the way that it looks. These clips are very handy. All right, so I think I am ready to talk about this big old holiday collection from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I mean, look at this. First of all, she looks stunning. I love this makeup. I love the lip. I love the hair. I'm here for this vibe. In this collection, we have several new lip colors, looks like a non-transferable liquid lip, and also perhaps a gloss. We also have some lip liners. We have this interesting liquid here, Skin Perfecting Oil Primer. Okay, so I'm not gonna use that in today's video because obviously I already have my makeup done. We have a face palette with some highlighters and also a blush. And then on this side over here, we have some cream metallic eyeshadows. I am thinking that for today, I am definitely gonna use one of these highlighters. And I'm thinking this blush is really nice too. Although I really like the Tres blush, it's very nice. It needs to be set with something on top of it because as it stands, my skin will probably likely eat it up. So typically, if I apply cream blush over a powder product, I like to set it with another powder blush of a matching tone. This one looks like it matches perfectly. Mmm, I feel like that was a really good choice. That just intensified the color and locked it in. All right, so I'll touch on the Jaclyn products in a little bit. I just wanted to set my blush and reach for that one specific palette, but we're gonna set that aside, and now we are moving into the eyeshadow category, which is what excites me the most this month, because this month we have a new palette from Lunar Beauty from my boo Manny MUA, and this is his Moonspell Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. First of all, Look at the detail on this packaging. You guys, this is an influencer brand and it looks so much more over the top, so much more detailed, so much more interesting and intricate than some of the higher end brands. I have to call it out. This is incredible. This type of packaging is not cheap. Here is the palette. Showing you guys a close up, but this to me speaks to so many of us. I feel like purple tones are really easy to wear. Purple to me is the neutral of the colors. I see this as a neutral palette in the purple family. Totally, totally wearable. Of course, you can create very dramatic, over the top, glamorous looks with these colors, but you could also really play it down and just have a nice pop of color for every day. You'll be surprised, shades like these, Jillian, Alex, Hilda, Misty. These are very, very flattering shades on most skin tones. So we're gonna dip right into this. First, I'm gonna prime my lids with my Fenty Beauty Primer. Now you know I love this one because it's the only one I consistently use. I'm surprised that more people are not talking about this one. It's such a solid primer. It's both grippy and it prevents oily lids from ruining your makeup. So it prevents eyeshadow from creasing. Also, it makes the colors appear brighter. And it also has some smoothing properties, so it perfects the texture and the canvas of your lid. All right, so since I mentioned all these shades, Alex and Hilda and Jillian and Misty, I guess I might as well just apply them on. I'm gonna take this Small dense brush. This is Morphe. I'm gonna reach for the shade Hilda here. Hilda is a very witchy name and I love it. I'm gonna apply this one all over the lid just to show you how wearable this shade is. So now this I will say is like a orchid type of shade. It's like part magenta, part purple, but it's not pink. It's kind of in between, which is what makes it so versatile. So basically I just applied that to my entire movable lid up to my crease. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna lift the outer edge of that just a bit. I'm gonna whisk away a couple specks of fallout. And then I'm gonna take a small, somewhat sturdy crease brush and just blend out the edge of that. Hot damn, this is such a pretty color. Just that alone makes me feel more dressed up. Next, I'm gonna grab a much lighter shade. Alex, this one right here. I'm gonna pop that into my inner corner tear duct. Oh, that is just a breath of fresh air. What a beautiful angelic shade. So stunning. Uh, this one is a pinky shade, but it has a hint of lavender. So it's really nice and unique. 
So if you're someone who has hazel eyes or green eyes, you gotta try this color combo. It is made for you. But also for me, with my Duda Browns, it's fine. I love my Duda Browns. You know, every time I wear blue or green contacts for Halloween, or every time I do one of those IG filters that gives you a different eye color, I am immediately so thankful for my Duda Brown eyes because I am not someone who looks great with a light color. And I kind of love that for me. Next thing I want to do is grab a bit of Jillian, or maybe it's Gillian, I'm not sure. It's Jillian with a G. Is that Gillian? I'm gonna run that under my lower lash line and just connect to the inner for a very subtle wash of color. Now, right now it looks kind of sickly, but bear with me, I have a master plan. So Gillian's basically like a wash of Hilda. So Hilda on my lid is a lot more saturated, it's a lot brighter, but Gillian has a bit more pastel to it, so together they play very nicely. Honestly, I think I'm done. I could reach into Luna if I really wanted to for like a center lid pop. Okay, I'm gonna do it. You see how I just convinced myself? I'm just gonna kiss, just kiss that center lid. I imagine this can apply very potently, but I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to add a little bit of sparkle, almost like stars to the center lid, not too much, because I don't want it to be like totally metallic, because then the look changes. It becomes like this very night appropriate type of look, but just to like give you a swatch. Yeah, this is very in your face and it's stunning. Oh, 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 it's amazing. I'm kind of obsessed. All right, next up, we have some new mascaras from ColourPop. So this is supposed to be a lengthening mascara. It comes in three shades. We have black, brown, and burgundy, but you can't really tell from the packaging because it's all nude. Anyway, I'm gonna curl my lashes first. Oh, don't forget the bottoms. And then I guess I'm gonna try the black first on my top lashes and on the bottom i'm thinking i'm gonna go for burgundy i like this wand thank you thank you for not making a gimmicky all right let's see here goes so now this is not a waterproof mascara but i do have my huda beauty waterproof top coat that i'll be using later if i end up going out and wearing this makeup as you know my sunday videos i film on fridays so typically after i'm finished with filming i like to go out and enjoy myself step out into the world let this makeup be seen and appreciated all right this feels like a very nice clean mascara nothing too extraordinary but nothing to complain about either i can't say i dislike this one all right i'm gonna test out the burgundy now Meh, I'll stick to the black that wasn't really very satisfying starting to feel myself just a little bit just a little bit I'm gonna use this Urban Decay 24 7 glide on pencil in the shade Rockstar which is like a blackened burgundy and I am going to add that to my waterline like that so not that totally changes the vibe it changes the feel of this makeup look it makes it just a little bit edgy just a little bit more Rockstar but I like it I'm gonna leave the top lid alone I don't think I want to line it I don't think I want to add anything else to it I like where it is at this moment I think it's very wearable and it's very appropriate I like it. Moving on to the lips. So we have lots of things in the lip category. First and foremost, we have this new holiday collection from Fenty, and it is their new Glossy Posse Fantasy for some four-piece gloss bomb collection with the gloss bomb cream and the original shade, and then we have three new holiday shades. These look absolutely stunning, and I'm taking them on my vacation, but I just don't think they're appropriate for this look right now. Also, Fenty just came out with a new color story, and it it's their resting peach face with a peach cream gloss bomb and also a peach blush. Ooh, kind of must open this up. Okay, so you already know, I'm a huge fan of these cream blushes by Fenty and this shade is definitely going with me to Cancun because it is just so, so me. It's so pretty and it's so stunning and I have a feeling that I'm gonna be wearing this on my birthday, I'm just saying, but not today. Today we are more of a resting witch face rather than a resting peach face. You get my drift? That said, I'm gonna be reaching for these new lippies from Jaclyn. So we have four lip liners here. We have a bunch of liquid lipsticks and glosses. I think the eyeshadow pots I'm gonna touch on in a different video. For now, I am really interested in all of these guys. But wait, that's not all. We also have some lip glosses and a liquid lipstick from Lunar Beauty for this collection. So in the liquid lip category, we have, wow, that is what I need this fall. This is a gorgeous pumpkin shade and it is called Hallow's Eve. That is so cute. We also have some really beautiful glosses. Looks like a sheer, 
golden peachy shade and also like a ruby shade. Okay, I don't know. I am just really into the liquid lipstick vibe at the moment, so I think I'm gonna stick with the Jaclyn. However, that's not all. We also have some new liquid lipsticks and a gloss from the Lip Bar. There's a new shade in here that's called Low Key and it's a beautiful brown. Ooh, this could also be a mood. I see it. So these are my contenders for today. Negative, possibility. Ooh, definitely a possibility. Also a possibility, so I'm torn. Let me just go ahead and swatch some of my contenders. So we've got the Lip Bar, Low Key. Absolutely stunning liquid lip. This would totally amp up my look. Next we have Stocking by Jaclyn Cosmetics. Ooh, damn, that is stunning too. We have Flannel by Jaclyn Cosmetics. That could also potentially work with my eye look. And last but not least option is Unwrap Me. Okay, Unwrap Me is a negative for me today. Right now, I am stuck between these three. All of these are similar shades. I'm thinking that stocking is it for me today. That's the one. So I'm gonna go for it. We also have some lip liners. I'm just gonna go for the darkest one. There's four of them in the collection and the darkest one is called stocking, appropriate. I'm gonna reach for the stocking lip liner. Line my lips. I'm gonna do this very quickly, but if you want to learn how to line your lips and apply lipstick perfectly, I do have a video on that on my IG and also on my TikTok. So follow me there for more. All right, picking up stocking and here goes. Ooh. Oh yeah. So now this is a liquid lip that dries quite quickly. So you have to apply it kind of quickly and it dries quite solid too. So you have to be careful to actually let it set before you talk. Otherwise it'll get on your teeth and then it'll actually stay on your teeth. But this is a stunning shade. And I gotta say, I really like it. All right, back to the Jaclyn palette. A little ASMR action for you. I'm going to dip into this shade here. This one's called Avalanche. This is a nice champagne shade. I'm gonna add that to the back of my cheekbone, into the brow bone, temple area, and just ice that out, you know? Very lovely formula. This is made in Canada. I gotta say, I'm pleased with this whole look. Everything that I did today is very me, and I really like it. All right, so let's go over everything that I have tried today Starting with this NARS primer. This off the bat didn't really impress me. And it's not that it impressed me, it actually just scared me a little bit because it made my skin a little bit sensitive. My skin felt like it was a little aggravated, like it felt like it was burning. It definitely felt like one of the ingredients in this was not agreeing with me, maybe it was just too strong. But right now my skin actually feels fine and I do think that the primer worked great with my pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie foundation that I've loved for a long time. Moving on to this by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This is an amazing product. It is very pricey, but it's kind of worth it because it does an incredible job of smoothing out your texture, any bumps, imperfections, pores, anything that you may have that you may want to transform. So I've always liked this product. I never really recommended it because I thought it was in the higher end category, but I have to call for what it is. It is a great product. Moving on to these Tres Luce blushes. I thought that the blush that I tried was very, very lovely. I enjoyed all the colors. At first I thought this was a powder, but it actually is in fact a cream, but a very flexible cream that did not disrupt my powder or my foundation underneath. In fact, it worked with it, and it worked with the blush that I used on top of it, which was from the Jaclyn Cosmetics Holiday Collection from this palette here that also includes a highlighter. I thought this was a really standout great product. I liked it. I also like the packaging, it's very sleek, it's very light, you can travel with it. And I honestly can't say anything negative about it, it's very nice. Moving on to the Moon Spell Volume 2 palette from Lunar Beauty. This was probably my favorite product from everything that I've tested today, just because the color story is very specific. It's a very specific point of view, and it's a point of view that I can get behind because I really love purple tones, I love lavenders, lilacs, pinks, there's some reds in here, there's a black, there's enough variety and enough interest for me to want to continue reaching for this palette all year long. Not just for the spooky season, not just for the holiday season, but definitely into the spring and into the summer. So in my personal opinion, if you are into purples, you will be doing yourself a disservice if you don't get this. I gotta say, at first impression, I'm also very much impressed by this liquid lipstick from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I really like the colors. I feel like they are slightly darker, slightly more demure than your typical 
typical holiday collection and I am here for that. I love the classic holiday looks, but I also really enjoy something a little bit sexier, something a little bit more daring. The ColourPop Level Up Mascara was nice. I can't say that it wasn't something that I haven't seen before. It was a good product, nothing too crazy, but it wasn't bad either. So those are my thoughts on everything that I have tried today. It's quite a number of things that I tried. A few things that I didn't get to, unfortunately, such as these NARS lippies, such as these Bobbi Brown crayons, these YSL lipsticks in front of me. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I still have to kind of sort through and follow up with you on. So I'm going to be doing that soon. In the meantime, I'm going to remove these little clips and I'm gonna enjoy this look that I created on my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking around, for being awesome, for all of your comments, for all your love and just all your warmth and all your openness. I really, really appreciate that. I read all your comments, Lee and I. We always will read your comments and we just appreciate you guys so much. So I wanna send all my love to you guys. I hope you are doing great. And with that, I'm going to zoom on out so that you can click on my next two videos, a video that you may like and also my most recent video. Hit it, I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.